Freedom. Today I wanted to talk to you about the secret sauce of your YouTube channel. What is it? This is actually more of a discussion thing. I am very curious what the secret sauce to your channel is. If you haven't thought about it, that means that you may not have fully thought out what's called your channel strategy. Many channels, their secret sauce relies on jumping on topics and writing trends. These are called tentpole topics. Every time a new game comes out, they cover that game. Every time there's a new news story, they talk about the news story. Every time something big happens in culture, they cover it in order to ride the waves of those so that they can do better and better and better. Some other channels, they rely on discovery through search. These are sometimes how-to channels or even gaming channels sometimes, depending on search when it comes to how to find this item or how to get that item in game or whatever. Through trying to figure out what your secret sauce is, this can help you discover how people are going to discover you. Anytime you do a channel, if you are looking for any amount of success, you should always plan and plot a strategy. This is vitally important and sometimes even happens accidentally, especially if you connect with your audience in a genuine way. I'll give you an example. Miranda Sings. This is a joke account that got way out of hand. There was no channel strategy, however, it hit a nerve. It struck a nerve with the fans, with the audience, and everyone got in on the joke. Same thing with How To Basic, except How To Basic in the early days did rely on a lot of search when it came to discovery. Many channels like this, they sort of stumble into a channel strategy that works for them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the norm. So I very much want to have a discussion with you in the comment section down below what your secret sauce or your channel strategy is. If you don't have one, try to, to, to think down below what you could do to generate traffic for your channel. And I don't want to hear any quote unquote cop out answers. I don't want to hear about getting shout outs. I don't want to hear about trying to uh, do collaborations with YouTubes, YouTubers that are way larger than you. Though we'd all love to do a collaboration with PewDiePie or 12, it's not realistic for all of us. Sometimes channel strategies, they put you in the best possible place so that you, when and if you get discovered, make the most out of it. So keep that in mind. And I just want to have a thought experiment down below what yours is if you have one, if you don't have one, what you'd like to try, and yeah. Anyways, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. I hope that it's provoked a thought or two. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to connect with us on our socials, be sure to check out, whoa, our Facebook, whoa, sh our Twitter, whoa, Facebook groups, whoa, of course, our support Twitter, whoa. And of course, the forums. Whoa, I am so gonna drop these. Anyways, thanks for watching. Whoa!